State symbols is one of those great little mini subtopics in chemistry, really easy to get hold of. There are four state symbols. They're shown in uh, some symbol equations. They're lowercase letters in brackets. Quite obviously from looking at them, S is gonna stand for solid, L for liquid, G for gas. So those are the straightforward ones. AQ means aqueous. And aqueous means something that is dissolved in water. So that's quite a specific one, but a lot of reactions involve aqueous things. So examples uh, of all of them, solid, that's some salt, it's a solid. Liquid, that's some water, it's a liquid. Gas is the air that's, I can't really show you that. And aqueous, if I ground some salt into that water, salt dissolves in water. So I would write those. Initially we had um, the salt as a solid, so I would have written that as NaCl solid. H2O was a liquid. And then when I put the salt into the water, it became NaCl AQ because it was still salt, but it was now dissolved in that water. I can apply that to symbol equations and put those in just from the things. These aren't balanced yet, but I'm gonna put the state symbols in anyway. So methane gas, we know it's gonna be a lowercase g. Oxygen, we know is a gas. When those two react together in a Bunsen burner, they give off carbon dioxide, we know that's a gas. And water, be careful with this one. When we have a Bunsen burner going, we don't see liquid water pouring out of it. It's because it's so hot in that reaction, the water that you're forming is a gas, it's steam. So that's gonna get a lowercase g as well. Calcium carbonate, that's marble, that's a solid. And when that's heated, it breaks down into calcium oxide, which is also a solid, so we don't see much actually happening, but it gives off carbon dioxide. We know that's a gas, so we filled it in for that one. Hydrogen burning in oxygen makes water. This is a fairly boring one. Hydrogen and oxygen are gases. And again, it's a very high temperature reaction because this is burning. So if this happened, the water we would make again would be a gas because it would be above 100 degrees C. One that's a little bit more interesting now is if we reacted marble with hydrochloric acid. Marble, calcium carbonate is a solid. Hydrochloric acid, if that was pure, we might put liquid, but always use watered down hydrochloric acid. It's a lot safer. So that's gonna be AQ. Calcium chloride is a solid that we make in this reaction, but a lot of ionic compounds like calcium chloride are soluble in water. Now, this reaction has got water because the hydrochloric acid was dissolved in water and we make water. So because we've got water around, this ionic compound isn't gonna be a solid, it's gonna be aqueous, it's gonna be dissolved in that water. The H2O, the water itself, is a liquid, so we put an L for that, and carbon dioxide is a gas and we would see gas bubbles forming in that reaction. So there we go, we're just applying what we know about whether things are solid, liquid or gas, and whether they're dissolved in water, so they're AQ.